What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, my Soul Squad? Welcome to what? Thursday. The weekend is always, always, it's almost here. But guess what, y'all? Y'all saw that thumbnail. I am making a sweet potato pound cake. Look. I'm trying to get desserts out here before Thanksgiving. I'm trying to get them out here early because guess what? Maybe you guys want to try it first before Thanksgiving comes. So you know that's going to be your dessert on Thanksgiving. But guess what? This is a special dessert because I am using Grandma Jackie approved sweet potato pie mix. Let me show it to y'all. I am using this Grandma Jackie approved sweet potato pie mix i am going to show you guys that you could use this not just only in your sweet potato pie but guess what in that sweet potato pie sweet potato pound cake are you guys ready to cook because i'm ready to cook this thing look good i want to taste it and all that stuff all right y'all i can't wait let's go to the kitchen <music> Thanksgiving table. This is going to be great on your Christmas table. And we get these desserts out. Like I said, we're going to pump out these desserts because when I'm ready to make, um, excuse me, when I'm about to make my um, Thanksgiving dinner video, I'm not going to include the desserts. You guys got to come back and look at the desserts. And next week is cake week. Okay. So in this right here, in my, um, bowl i had two sticks of softened butter a half a stick of that crisco um butter now everything is at room temperature and um you'll be able to somebody always call me on my phone <laughs> everything is at room temperature and with that crisco butter mix it has the measurements on there so you can actually cut a half a stick and so right here all together this is like three sticks of butter unsalted Okay, guys, took care of that phone call. Let's get this stuff down. Locked in place and wet. And remember, you got to get your spatula because you are going to be uh, coming down on the sides with a lot of stuff. I got my spatula sitting back here. And already, you know, and I'm using my wire whisk. And the reason why I'm using my wire whisk is because it makes everything more fluffier to me. You could use your um, paddle attachment or you just use a regular, um, your um, hand mixer. Now, I, this is a pound cake, so it's sweet. So I'm adding three cups of sugar. And I'm doing one cup at a time. And I'm doing two cups of white sugar, guys. Two cups of white sugar. And that third cup of sugar is going to be Grandma Jackie's. Grandma Jackie's pre-approved sweet potato pie mix. Yes. And it goes. That Grandma Jackie pre-approved. So it's two cups of white sugar, one cup of... When I tell y'all, you can smell the cinnamon, the ginger, and the nutmeg in this. And that's why, let me turn this down, push it down. That's why in my dry ingredients, y'all, it only has um, baking powder and the, and the cake flour. Because your cinnamon and your nutmeg and everything that you need for this um, pound cake is inside this Grandma Jackie's approved sweet potato pie mix. So I'm scraping down my sides because I'm going to go in with five eggs. And if I don't talk too much about the recipe and I just start doing things, guys, it's going to be in the description below. The full recipe. I can't let you um, fall short for um, Thanksgiving. And I'm only using one sweet potato and I'm roasted it. I baked it in the oven. Now you can boil it, but I like to bake it because it holds in the flavor and the sweetness of that sweet potato. And we're going to let this go for like maybe like eight minutes because I want to get it nice and fluffy. Now 
It'll make your cake light and airy. Okay, guys, we are back. And remember, frequently, please push down the sides. Now, I'm going in with my five eggs, one at a time. I got them cut, got them already cracked into my measuring cup. but not least and you know when I use vanilla and I'm baking for the holidays guys this is one of my favorite vanilla it can't it can't be on the expensive side so you just use some pure vanilla but I, I'm almost out of that <laughs> so I actually you want to scrape down the sides I actually need to um get me some y'all that vanilla costs 140 between 127 to 140 and I'm actually got to get me some for um the upcoming holidays and when i say this smells good this smells so 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 good and again remember guys you got to constantly remember to push them sides down i don't know when they're going to make a kitchen aid or a mixer but we don't have to do this but you have to until they do or maybe somebody else will come up with one all right i'm going in with my vanilla now, that Grandma Jackie, um, two take a powder mix has vanilla in it, but I love vanilla. So I'm going in with one teaspoon. It has vanilla already in that mix when I tell you it do, but I like vanilla. I'm going in with one teaspoon of my vanilla. Even though it's in the mix already, I'm just going in with this one teaspoon. Now, to this, Guys, I have some sour cream, a half a cup of sour cream is going into this. A half a cup of sour cream, guys. And I measure everything out. When it comes to bacon, you got to be point on. Now, we're going to slow this down a little bit so we can talk about the sweet potato. Okay, I have one baked sweet potato. See, this is one baked sweet potato. And so you need like a cup, one cup of sweet potato for this recipe. Make sure you take all your strings out. I was lucky with this sweet potato. There was little to no strings in it. But if you do got one, use a um, hand mixer with the whisk. So all the strings will come out on it. You can take your hand, take some of the strings off, or you could parade it in the um, food processor. You know, it's gonna make it kind of smooth and silky. Now this is kind of chunky. I did it with my hand. There's no, um, there's no um, strings into it. I call them sweet potato hairs. There's no sweet potato hairs in here. And I'm also using my wire whisk that would help to capture some of that, but you're supposed to do it before. But no, this is going to um chop up really good. This was a good sweet potato. Okay, guys, so I'm going in with my one cup of um baked or roasted, whatever how you want to put it, baked or roasted sweet potato. One cup. And I am for your dry ingredients. Um, I'm going to put the recipe down there just in case you don't have Grandma Jackie's um, sweet potato mix. But hey. It's available now. <laughs> Just in case you don't have it, I am still going to put down the uh, um, the ingredients for how much cinnamon and how much nutmeg to um to use and get that sweet potato all up in there. Ooh, piece of skin. You don't want no skin in there. Now I'm going to use a one cup of sweet potato, and some people use two cups of sweet potatoes. I'm using one cup of sweet potato just because the mix that I'm using is a blend of sweet potato flavoring. And man, when I tell you it tastes good and it smells good, I I want to mix it. Now it looks like my mix is curling up and everything. See, look at this. You see the way it's looking? You might think it's coming apart. Oh, you made it over curl, made over with it. Nope. 
it's going to look like that because I got that sweet potato in there. So, at this point, guys, I want to add in my dry ingredients. Again, it's only, I prefer to use um, cake flour. Some people like all-purpose flour. I just because cake flour is already pretty swift, sift it. And, you know, let's work for me. I'm going in. I'm going to turn this on low. I don't never have my guard on here. And we're going to be alternating flour. And half and half. If you guys check out um, my prayer cake video, why I use half and half in that, um, I like the half and half because it makes the cake nice and fluffy. So, from half and half, and this is one cup. Push it down. Push down them sides. We're going step by step, honey. Because it's what? You can see all the sweet potato bits in it. Because it is holidays. And I want you guys cake, pound cake, and everything that you get from my channel to come out great. And don't be afraid to um make a cake, guys. I mess up all the time. Gotta go back to drawing board. And I should have been doing it from the front. The rest of my half and half going in here. And I'm going to end with, y'all, my y'all see my shirt. I got flour all over my shirt. I'm going to end with my last little bit of flour mixture. And this is how you make a sweet potato pound cake. I'm going to blend it, but then I'm going to get a bigger spatula. And I'm just going to go ahead and just fold in the remaining um, flour that may be at the bottom of this bowl. I could use this. Now let me taste. Mmm. Ooh. If this don't say sweet potato um, pound cake, I'm about to smack somebody. This thing is so good. And that's just the batter. All right, so we're going to do now. We got to get the pan. We got to get to greasing this so we can pour it. My oven is preheated at 325. I cook my pound cakes 325 for like 90 minutes. Okay, guys, we back. Now, I've been having troubles with my cake sticking lately, so I sprayed a lot of pan in here today. So, yes, we're going to get this cake. I am using a ladle because I just want to make sure I got everything. And then this thing is heavy. This um, kitchen aid is heavy, y'all. It is heavy. I dropped my mix on the floor. It is heavy. But I'm going to do even all the way around. And this is my um, butt pan. And Jackson keep trying to eat all my mix up. Come on, I'm just getting around the side. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> I told y'all this thing is good. It's that um, Grandma Jackie uh, sweet potato pie mix, man. You don't have to um, do anything to it. You just want sure. If you don't know how much to put into your um, pies or in this beautiful sweet potato cake I'm bringing you, just you do what I do. One cup. But take it in. Jocelyn, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold this. Now, we're going to, I had a little bit of bottle. Shake it real. Now, I'm going to put this on a cookie dish because I got a feeling <laughs> I may put too much batter in it. Because pound cakes can be a lot of batter. And I should have used my angel food pan, but we're going to work with what we got. 
in the oven, 325 for 90 minutes or two it's done. Okay, so it's gone. Yeah, I almost flipped this cake <laughs> before coming back because I was so excited it was done. So this is the uh, sweet potato pie cake. I can't say it's sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pound cake. Look at it. So um, the extra mix I had over, guys, sometimes with this um, recipe, you may have some extra mix left over. Um, you can make like some cupcakes out of it or either or, you know, do a little teeny, um loaf pancake or you know a loaf pan put in a loaf pan make a little teeny pound cake but y'all are y'all ready y'all i'm recording <laughs> y'all know i haven't been having luck with the flip of the drawer of cakes so i call myself icing i mean um um what's that thing called <laughs> putting a lot of um see i told y'all i ain't been having luck with my cakes I don't know what's going on. It's everything is just busy. It's cool, though. I don't know why. You know what? It's time to go back old school. It's time to flour, butter, and flour. This um Pam and all this other stuff. They just ain't trying to work with me when I used to work in the past. And I just I loaded her up with the Pam coating. All right, we be back. I gotta see what's going on, y'all. three spots but hey we we we, we get better we get better look at that and it's so so <laughs> y'all we gonna let this cool down some more but guess what let's go ahead let's make this man y'all know what goes good with sweet potato y'all know what goes good with sweet potato marshmallow we are about to make a cream cheese marshmallow frosting now y'all know I can't decorate with pepper. I'ma hope this drip, 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 drip go right. <laughs> I hope this drip go right. But this sweet potato cake look good, pound cake, baby. Yes, boo. Look at it. All right, let this cool down. Let's sit to the side and let's get started on that um on that cream cheese mix. So it's called, when I tell you this house smells good, <laughs> it smells like sweet potato oil, sweet potato pie all up in this pan, okay? So in this bowl, I have one stick of softened, unsalted butter, four ounces of softened cream cheese, um, any cream cheese you choose, it's up to you guys, right? And to this, y'all, I'm going to add about two. My you ain't going to blend it. Y'all, I blend all my stuff together. I'm going to add about two cups of powdered sugar. Okay? I blend it all together. I'm going in with my favorite vanilla. A teaspoon. Ooh, this thing smells good. Y'all got cake week coming up next week. I got to get some vanilla. I gotta get some um wow. cake flour huh? and guys marshmallow fluff this whole seven ounce jar it it is sticky but it's going in here and I'm gonna put the wire wicks and I'm gonna get some half and half and we got to hope that I decorate my cake, right? <laughs> oh, be, I'm going to be frosting another Hope Bunt's cake. No. This stuff is so sticky. But you know, marshmallow and sweet potatoes. Y'all, Thanksgiving coming. Christmas coming. They're going to be like, who made the sweet potato pound cake? You're going to be like, it wasn't me. It was so tea. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing with y'all. Now, half and half. 
I'm going in with just a tiny bit. Maybe a teaspoon, just because you always could start off with a little versus starting off with a lot. Because you could always, white whisk, you could always add more to this. Now, you could, um, you know, do the butter, cream cheese, and all that stuff first. I decided to go all in, full throttle. And I ain't put on my, um, <laughs> I ain't put my shield on. But that's okay, there it is. I'm gonna add a little bit more half and half. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. And it's marshmallow. Now, some people sip their powdered sugar. I never do. You know, so you won't have to have lumps. I'm praying for no lumps. Praying to the cake gods, okay? To the cream cheese marshmallow frosting gods. Okay? Let's see. Ooh. Look at that. Ah, right, y'all. Wish me luck. Hey, guys. This is my beautiful sweet potato pound cake. Okay, I tell y'all, I do not, this thing is heavy, okay? But, look at this. Look at this marshmallow. Okay, so. I'm just going to let it drip, y'all. And it's marshmallow, so you know it's sticky, right? So, there's no pretty design. I I just can't I just can't do a drip, y'all. I just can't not. I will make this cake. I will make y'all cake all day long. And that's just why we doing slices over here, okay? Because my drip game <laughs> is not on point. Because <laughs> I don't want to make it any more. She might be on point today, y'all. My drip game may be on point today, y'all. Yes. She may be on point today. Yes, Grandma like lemon pies. Oh, she do. Oh, well, you want to take a piece home for your family? For your mommy and your auntie? How many people? Because Brandon, can we have a family light on Wednesday? Can we have? Oh, we can have like, oh, mashed potatoes. Wait a minute. What you want to have? Okay, you said you want to have family night on Wednesday. Yeah, and we can have steak, steak, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. Girl. Okay. And we have some for Brandon. And Aisha and 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 Michael just clean and Aisha. Okay. And me. So we she wanna have family night, Josh. So I think bread. you need to hit the grocery store because she wants steak, and broccoli. Ten people for but ten people. She wants steak, right. broccoli, and mashed potatoes. Bye, boo boo. See okay. you tomorrow. So we gotta need dessert. Like, oh, we need dessert. We need to eat pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin pie. All right, we're going to think about that family night. <laughs> Y'all, that's my grandbaby, Sahara. She's going home.
Okay. So, again, my drip game <laughs> is not all that. But, they got a big old empty gap right there. But y'all know where I'm going at with this, right? I don't do nothing but cut out pieces anyway. But, yeah, she look good, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to frost in her. This is it, Soul Squad. So like, share, subscribe. <laughs> oh, y'all thought I forgot, right? Let's cut it. Let's cut it. <laughs> all right, guys, you can't see me, but I'm not important. It's all about this sweet potato pound cake, right? Okay, we're going to cut them apart where the drip is like really good. See, some of y'all going to make this and y'all drip going to be off the chain. Ooh, look how smooth that went in there. Now, they go better with the, um, sweet potatoes and marshmallows, right? And I know some people like nuts and all this stuff when you make that marsh, make a, um, ooh, look at that. Smack at 10 people. I'm about to smack 10 people. This thing tastes like a pie. Look at that. Look how moist it is. Look at that. Look at that kickback. Man. Mmm. Let me just taste it for y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Do you see bits of the orange in them? The sweet potato? Mmm. <laughs> Grandma Jackie approved this. This sweet potato pie mix gonna take your sweet potato pie, your sweet potato pound cake to another level. The flavors are there, y'all. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. Until your next video, no, until my next video, see you, Soul Squad. Remember, go to Soothe Sounds. Sisterhood with me and my sister doing great things over there. Check out New Life Journey, her channel, where she's doing remarkable things. And don't forget to check out Soul T Vlogs and always, always hit the bell on everything so that you guys can get the next available video that we put up on all our channels. This is good. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, okay? Because you can make this at Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, your birthday, New Year's, Easter, whenever you want it. I'm out, guys. Mmm.